Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on FNAF. So here we are, it's a nice Friday night, and Scott just dropped this huge bomb on us out of nowhere. You know, I was in my PJs, ready to go to bed, eating a snack, and here we are, recording a video. Never thought this would happen, but here we are. Right in the middle of all this security breach news, not news, no teasers kind of thing going on, Scott just decided to release this huge thing that he's been working on for a long time, and I think you guys are really gonna like it. Let's get into it. Here we go. So I didn't expect to post two videos today, but Scott just put out a statement where he announces something huge for the FNAF community. Make sure to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe with the post notifications on so you know right when I upload a brand new video. Let's get into the news. So when FNAF was first released, Scott had no idea how big it would get. Scott often tells the story about the first time someone made fan art of one of his characters and he was absolutely blown away by the fact that someone loved his game enough to make fan art of one of his characters. A couple years later and he has created a franchise that has spawned a ton of fan art and also a ton of fan games. FNAF fan games have been a huge part of the community since close to the beginning of FNAF's existence. Some of the most popular being Five Nights at Candy's, One Night at Flumpty's, and The Joy of Creation, just to name a few. The talent coming from these developers is through the roof. Some of these fan games could rank as some of the best indie horror games in my opinion. These developers didn't just make incredible looking games, they also had a fantastic world and story building. They created their own worlds while sticking to the FNAF theme, and Scott has decided to invest in those worlds. Scott has just announced that he's creating the Fazbear Fanverse Initiative. With this, he will be funding a couple of the most popular FNAF fan games to make new games and possibly have them on major consoles. Let me read to you what Scott had to say. Hey guys, I wanted to tell you all about a little project that I've been working on for a while now. It's a giant collaboration involving several fan game creators who have made some of the most popular fan games over the years here in the community. It's a project that's designed to invest in those franchises, give back to the developers, and hopefully bring new entries to those franchises as well. There have been some great fan-made spin-off universes created in this community, and I want to see them keep going. That's why I've put some of my own cash toward development of new games in those game series. However, I'm going to stay out of the development side of things so that these creators can do their thing. They're going to develop these games and interact with the fan base just as they would have normally, and when the games are done, they'll be released onto Game Jolt for free, just like normal. The difference now is that they'll also be bundled up with other games from the same series, such as the classic versions or remakes or mini games, and sold on most major consoles and mobile as well, at least that's the plan. Did I mention there may be some toys and other merchandise of these fan games too? So, what's in the initial lineup? Emil will be bringing you Five Nights at Candy's 4, Nixon will be bringing you the Joy of Creation Ignited Collection, Kane will be bringing you Pop Goes Evergreen, and finally Fiznam will be bringing you a remake slash reimagining of the original FNAF. Since some of the older fan games may have used copyrighted assets or assets created by other people, etc., some are getting remade in part, or remade entirely. Some are being remade completely from scratch, with new character designs, new sound design, and new artwork. It's a big project on the part of all these creators, so please show these developers some support. I want to see these games on consoles and then maybe, if it goes well, I can add more fan games to this project in the future. So yeah, I'd really like to see this turn into something cool. What do you think? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so exciting. I can't believe that we're going to get more amazing FNAF fan games, all funded by Scott himself. I think it is so amazing that Scott decided to help these indie developers create their own worlds. I think it may be because he sees his past self in them, and he wants to help them the way that he only would have dreamed of getting when creating his past games. I wouldn't expect anything less from Scott. This is exactly what we needed right now as a community. Some of us have felt left to dry when it comes to FNAF news news and Scott just pulled out the biggest UNO reverse card ever. <laughs> Also, I can't believe these games might be on consoles. Like, can you imagine the joy of creation on a console? That would be so cool. Also, we might be getting merch for these fan games. This is going to be huge for these developers. Scott really is giving them a huge push towards their great careers in the gaming industry. I find it really interesting that one of the games that he's funding is a reimagining slash remake of the original FNAF game. I think that would be super cool, but I can't imagine the pressure of having Scott's blessing to remake slash reimagine the game that gave him his career. FNAF 1 holds a very special place in all of our hearts, and 
I think we as a community need to remember that we will always have FNAF 1. It isn't going anywhere. So when the remake slash reimagining of FNAF 1 comes out, we need to play it with open minds and open hearts. Sometimes this community can be a little harsh with things, so I just wanted to throw that in there as a reminder that the original FNAF 1 isn't going anywhere. It's like when a movie studio remakes a movie. Some people feel like the remake ruined the original, but in reality, the original never changed. Your perception of it did. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say about that part. I'm just so excited about this. Like, The Joy of Creation was already a fantastic game. Already looked amazing. Graphics amazing. Story amazing. I can't imagine what The Joy of Creation is going to look like with Scott funding it and it possibly being on consoles. And I can't wait to get that merch in my hands. Like, The Joy of Creation is probably my favorite FNAF fan game and I couldn't be more excited for this new game that they're creating. Also One Night at Flumpty's is an original FNAF fan game like I didn't expect it to be on this list but it was a very well made game and a very popular game so I can't wait to see what they do with this game. Also Five Nights at Candy's 4, I, I mean all of the games are like so good and I'm, I cannot wait to play these new games. Anyways you guys are now fully updated on FNAF news so thank you guys so much for watching. What do you guys think about this new Fazbear Fanverse initiative? Are you excited? Are you not excited? Are you indifferent let me know in the comments below i hope you guys have a great day and bye 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 bye